Number 22, Mackenzie Reese. And in goal for the Crusaders, Molly Marigoli. because it knocked off Mackenzie Reese's back. So I just finished it off and it was a great way to finish the half because we, it was like 1-0, it's really hard to play in 1-0 situation. So. Absolutely huge. Changed the, the way we talked to our team at halftime. Um, just changed the way they felt about the game. Uh, you know, that 1-0 lead is, tends to, to have you focusing on certain things and when you get another one, it tends to allow you to, to focus more on detail and, and, and that's what we wanted to do in the second half. And, I think that's what opened the game up for us, is the kids were just playing great soccer. Um, well, Lorraine did a really good job beating her defender, and we had, again, three good runs, and so she just had, the defense had no choice but to step on her, and she just slipped me a perfect ball, so I just had to put it away. We did the best game plan we could coming in against Edgewood today, and um, you know it was just it was hard to stick with their girls. They're fast. They're good soccer players. We did preparation the best we could. We tried to put people in certain areas, and uh, we just got outplayed. And it was hard to stay with them. And when you lose them in that offensive transition they, that they have into our last third on defense, that's when the goals start happening, and that's where we lost them a lot of times. So. Yeah, the rhythm was great. Um, we were finding feet and space when each one was appropriate. Um, they just, they just, they felt, you know, the funny thing is, is on Thursday they felt the weight of the game and, and things kind of started to scramble a little bit. Today they felt the weight of the game and, and they, they pulled it all together. So they clearly learned uh, a, good, a good lesson from the last game they played. It means a lot, and every year it feels even better when we get back to state. It's a great feeling.